Hi, this is Chris Gould with Geeks on Tour, and this time I'm just going to record a short video on how I kept playing with a picture and ended up getting from this to this. I did a crop, saturation, HDR-ish, cinemascope, and text. Now there are separate videos really explaining these. This is just going to go through the steps on this one picture. First it needs a crop like almost every picture does. I want to get close to the flowers and following the rule of thirds I want to put the flowers off center. That looks good. Apply. Next I think th there's some pretty colors in there but there could be more color. On the third tab of editing features saturation just takes the color that's there and makes it more and yeah I'd say that's the right amount and apply. Next is my new favorite feature HDR-ish. I just click once on it and it pops out. Now that might be a little bit too much. I think I'll I'll fade it just a little and I like that and I'll click apply. Next there's this interesting feature called CinemaScope. It kind of it changes the color so it looks kind of like an old film but I really like that color and it puts what's called a letterbox, the black bars at the top and bottom. And that sets the stage for my adding some text. So text is back on the first tool and if you've ever done this, you might have noticed that the text tends to move around. So this is a good time to save the picture. You can always undo the save and undo everything else, but if you save it, that means that these black bars and the text won't move around. I click text and a thing of beauty. Don't worry about where the text appears because after you've typed it you can move it around. Now I'd already chosen the font but that took me a lot of doing. Look at all these fonts and yeah, maybe I'll, I'll choose another one this time like the Edwardian script. Where'd that go? Yeah, that's kind of pretty. I think maybe I'll do that. And I chose the color. I think I'll make it bold so you can see more of the color. I chose the color right from the flower. Just pick it up right, right in there, the dark purple. And then I want another piece of text. is a joy forever. I want to make that big as well. And I want to make it white. And the outside it needs to be a little smaller. Okay. And those are the five steps I took to get from my original plain photo to something that I think I could put on a postcard or at least a, a poster on my wall and enjoy.